Hey, how's it going everyone? Just have a quick little video here to show you a trick that I think will help make your Infusionsoft tag goals just a little bit more functional. So what I've got here is a simple campaign, right, with a tag goal uh, listening for those tags to be applied and then um, a sequence which will, uh, once those tags are found, will run whatever, a series of actions, right? Um, so tag goals, uh, and most of you know this because you've set them up before, uh, listen for the application of attack. So uh, that's an important distinction because a lot of people think that this tag goal is actually going to apply the tag. Um, and that's not what's happening. When you set up a tag goal, it is listening for any of the tags that you select to be applied anywhere else. And then this goal is achieved when any of those tags are applied. Now, um, if, if you want these actions to run, uh, when any of these tags are applied, then this is all you need to do. You can go ahead and publish and you're all set. Uh, but there's a kind of a, a, a relatively common use case where uh, I see people who only want this goal to be achieved if the contact has all of those tags. And, and I think that Infusionsoft has an opportunity here to, to give us a checkbox or a radio option down here that says, you know, achieve this goal when any or all of these tags are applied. So I think that's that's where I'd like this to go eventually. Um, but in the meantime, there's a pretty clever workaround uh, that allows you to set up this goal so that uh, those actions only run if somebody has all of those tags. And uh, it's, it's basically just introducing a decision diamond. So um, what we're going to do is just put an empty sequence here. And I'll go ahead and mark that sequence as ready also. And uh, then we'll go ahead and connect this tag goal to the empty sequence. Uh, now we don't need any rules for the empty sequence, but for the run all the actions sequence, we're going to go ahead and set up uh, one rule. If the contacts, tags, contains, and then we need to select uh, tag one, and we'll choose and because uh, we wanted to uh, only allow them in here if they have all of these tags. So uh, we'll do and again, and uh, select tag three, and uh, one more or two more times for tags four and five. So there we have it. That, that's our rule is all set up here. Uh, tag one, tag two, tag three, tag four, tag five. And you could set up rules for, for empty. Uh, and actually, this is where I'll give, um, I'll give Infusionsoft a second uh, suggestion here. Uh, it would be great if uh, there was an option for rule uh, that just said, hey, if it doesn't meet the other rule, put them in here, right? So you, that way you have a kind of an inverse of what you had there. Or if there are five rules uh, for five different sequences, you could have an else bucket where if they don't fit into any of the other ones, they go into that. But for now, we'll just leave that one as, uh, as empty with no rules. And now here's what's going to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and publish this. And uh, I'm going to add some tags uh, to a few contacts. And uh, what we should expect is uh, every time um, every time that somebody achieves this goal, they're going to go into this sequence because we don't have any rules for that one. But they're only going to go into this top sequence if they have all five of the tags. So let's go ahead and, uh, and test this here. Uh, and I'll, I'll use a, a contact in here. I think we have Screech. So I've got all my Saved by the Bell uh, cast in here. And you can see that uh, Screech already has tag two and tag four. So if we go ahead and apply tag one and tag uh, three, uh, and I won't apply tag five yet. So let's go ahead and apply that. Uh, and then back over here, uh, if we go to the reporting tab, uh, we should see, yeah, we, we, we can see that uh, two contacts have been through here. And that I'm guessing that Screech on both of them, uh, yeah, it is. Because uh, as we applied those um, tags, that goal was achieved. And then Screech was routed into this sequence down here. And because there's nothing in that sequence, uh, Screech went straight through the active and, and is already queued. Uh, so if we go back to Screech and we apply tag 5... Uh, this should this should give Screech all five of those tags. Uh, so that's going to achieve that goal once more. Uh, but this time, uh, he's going to go into this sequence as well. So let's go ahead and refresh that. Uh, and you can see that Screech has now successfully passed through there. So um, that's how you handle this. And I know it's, it's really straightforward, but a lot of people don't think of using Decision Diamonds uh, strategically like that. You just think of it as a segmentation tool. 
Uh, but what we've effectively done is we've made this goal um, a listening post for all five of those tags. And uh, you know, obviously, like I said, it'd be simpler if we had a setting here so to achieve this goal uh, only if all of those tags are applied, and that way it would only achieve on the fifth application. Uh, but for the time being, what you could do is, is just set up a really simple decision diamond, uh, branch them out into this empty sequence, and uh, you just need to, to make sure that your rules are refined to make sure only the people who have all of the tags get the actions that you intended as the outcome. Hopefully that helps uh, save a little headache and uh, unlocks a little bit of functionality for those tag goals.